Hi everyone, my name is Xin Guo, a third year computer science student from the University of Toronto St. George campus. Hi, my name is Reiji Yang. I'm a junior student from Beijing University of Post and Telecommunication. So in this presentation, we'll be talking about our work, a channel attention and efficient manipulation network for facial expression recognition. Um, our oral presentation will be roughly divided into four major sections. First, in the introduction part, we'll briefly introduce our motivation and some key ideas in the paper. Second, in the model section, we'll be presenting our proposed network in which the model backbone and the optimization objective are included. Third, essential experimental settings are presented for reproduction. At last, the trained model's performance and interpretation will be discussed in the evaluation section. Now, let's begin with the introduction. Automated facial expression recognition has become an ongoing and promising research topic in the field of computer vision. However, high similarities across different categories become the main challenge for the facial expression recognition. For example, both happy and neutral expression have closing eyes, both happy and surprised expression have opening mouth, both happy and disgusting expression have frowning brows. So learning with such similarities often results in um, undesirable result as it disturbs the discriminability of the model. So to remedy such problem, we propose an end-to-end -end hybrid model. It is an aggregation of two main components. In the pipeline, after the images are properly pre-processed, they will be fed into the first component, feature extractor, which consists of a REST918 and an ECA residual block and are used to extract the feature. And extractive features will be fed into the second major part, FDRL, which is short named for the feature decomposition and reconstruction learning. It is used to extract the latent features and learn the characteristics of the internal relevance perception and a correlation between the latent features. Eventually, the FDRL outputs the probability for each emotional category. So the main idea of the proposed model is just a combination of feature extractor and our baseline model, FDRL. So in this section, we'll elaborate on the details of the model. For the first part, feature extractor, the pre-processed images will be used as the input, and then it will be fed into the classic CN ResNet 18. However, the ResNet 18 in our paper is a little bit different. Uh, it contains the ECA residual block. So ECA is for short name for efficient channel attention, which significantly improves performance. So effective cross-channel -chan interaction may sustain performance while drastically lowering model complexity. The 1D convolution is effectively used to perform the local cross-channel interaction. So the method does not require any um, dimensionality reduction. The technique for um, adaptively selecting the size of a 1D convolution kernel is also included in the ECA to assess the extent of the local cross-channel interaction. And the module will finally produce the extractive features at the, as the output. Here we come to the FDRL the second major section of the proposed method. The extractive features introduced in a previous slide will be fed into the FDN, which is short name for Feature Decomposition Network. So it maps the input to the latent features in many subspaces through fully connected layers. Then the latent features will be the input to the FRN, which is short name for Feature Reconstruction Network. So in this specific network, the relationship of both intra-feature and inter-features are learned to explore the subtle difference of the latent features between various expressions. So there are two modules in the FRM, intra-RM and inter-RM. So the intra-RM models relation of the same latent feature across all input examples, which learns a weight for each latent feature that determines its contribution of the expression prediction. 
the inter-RM learns the relation of different latent features in the same input example by a graphical neural network. In such way, after passing through both intra-relation and inter-relation networks, the features are aggregated and fed into the facial expression prediction module, which only consists of a multi-layer perception predicting the probability of the expression classification. In this slide, we introduce our proposed optimization objective. Listed on the slide, we have the following defined joint loss function at the center. And in this function, we have four components, while lambda one, two, and three are the balancing weights of the loss terms. LCLS is the classification loss, which is optimized as the cross entropy loss between ground truth and predicted expression category. LC is the compactness loss for feature destruction. LD is the distribution loss for intra-feature modeling. And LW is the L2 penalty for all parameter weights. Here, we come to the experiment setting section. As this figure shows, we use open sourced online FER dataset. In this study, we employ the CK Plus RAFDB to train our model and use Slab A to pre train our ECA backbone network. And then we need to pre process the image before feeding them into the model. Let's first talk about the image pre-processing stage. Both images from CK Plus and RAFDB are randomly cropped to the size 224 times 224, and then being transformed with random horizontal flip. Following it, a random rotation and a random crop are applied to the previously transformed data. Then the normalization is applied to better decrease the computational complexity. At the last step, random erasing is applied to the dataset, which is shown to be effective for avoiding data overfit. Here, this slide shown is an example of our augmented data. Here are our implemented detail. We trained our baseline model on NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. We use batch normalization and set the batch size to 32. And the epoch number is 60. We also use the learning rate decay method with an initial learning rate of negative fourth power of 10 and decay learning rate by a factor of 0 0.1 for every seven epochs. And we also use 10 fold Cross validation for CK plus and RAFDB datasets. As shown in this table, our overall performance achieves state of, of the art result at about 99%. Uh, I'm sorry, at 99.71% on CK plus dataset and uh, 89.13% on RAFDB dataset, beating other SOTA methods and our baseline. Here is the ablation study that we did, which is used to verify the contribution of FDRL as well as ECA to the proposed model. The result shows the that both ECA and FDRL module, modules jointly and positively contribute to model prediction to some extent. Having each module alone show no sign of performing better than our proposed model. And to better demonstrate the interpretability of the model, Red cam is used to investigate the region that our model are more focused on. 
to show some concrete examples, we can directly see that the areas around mouth and eyes are taken more attention by our proposed model. And confusion matrix is used to directly reflect the relationship between true label and predicted label for each category. It should be noted that our model still fails at some hard negative examples. For example, the fear class, which only achieves an accuracy around 65%. But overall, our module uh, achieves a high accuracy in both CK plus at 99.78% and RAFDB at about 89.13% dataset. To conclude, we propose an end-to-end -end hybrid structure that takes both ECA residual block and FDRL module into consideration. It has been proven to be effective and has achieved the state-of-the-art recognition accuracy. In the future, our effort will be more focused on finding unique ways to solving the problem and deploying them in a real-world setting. Please go and check our paper for more details of our methodology. Should you have any problems, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you for listening.